Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22, continuing our French orchards, or French chickens map, maybe? Um, and, uh, today... Well, it's obviously dark already, so we gotta fast forward to the new day. That's that's definitely the first thing we've gotta do. Um, but, just kind of reevaluate, uh, this is a new session for me. I went back and watched the last little bit of the last episode to make sure I remember where we were at. And where we're at is that our chickens are running out of food. We did not get a harvesting contract, as you guys know, if you saw the last episode. And that is very unfortunate. So we're going to have to buy food to keep our chickens happy, which is not super great. Um, we're going to have to sell some stuff, probably eggs, at a lower than ideal price just to make that happen. But we're going to wait till next month to make that decision. So for now, we're going to go ahead and move forward a month and we will see what the situation looks like. Now, the good thing is that we're going to be getting a lot of eggs very quickly because we have so many chickens. So even though if we have to sell some right now, we should have a lot more eggs, you know, coming up at some point, you know, down the road when it becomes a good price. Um, also, I should point out that I do have the newest patch installed, a uh, 2.3 or whatever, whatever number it is now. Um, and uh, it's another three. I can't remember. Maybe it's 1.3, something like that. But uh, it's, it does have the new price uh, min maximums on this sheet right here. So for example, we can see that for the past year, the highest price for lettuce was 11.25 in this game. So even though my spreadsheet says lettuce could go as high as, you know, 11.75 maybe, well, we didn't see that realistically. So I can use these numbers to kind of maybe judge a little bit better about when it's a good time to sell stuff. For example, tomatoes, the best price we saw was 5.32. Right now it's 4.78, which is very close to the lowest price. So we would definitely like to avoid selling uh, tomatoes or lettuce if we can help it. Eggs, where are we at on eggs? Eggs, low was 7.99, best was 13.64. I mean, we're, I mean, it's not great, obviously. Um, we're about halfway between the two, right? Uh, now the eggs best price on my spreadsheet was 1633, which I always thought was a little bit off. So the fact that we've only seen 1364 in game is something that we can use a little bit more realistically. Um, so it's not the worst time to sell eggs. And then it's basically average, average time to sell eggs, which is not great, but we don't have all the eggs on here and we've got a few building coming out now and there will definitely be more by the time it's a good time to sell them. So I think it's a good, good for us to go ahead and get these sold because we've got to, we've got to get some food for our chickens or else they're going to starve. And I've heard that when chickens starve, that's not good. Um, we're a little bit low on water. We definitely need to get some water. I was planning on using a tractor that we got from a contract to get water. So that is also very unfortunate. Uh, how are chickens doing? They got a little bit of food left. Technically, there's a good chance we could wait one more month on these chickens. And the reason why that might be worth trying is because we're in uh, September right now. And if this graph is even remotely close, if they fix this at all, that even though the best price is November, October is not a bad price, if this is even remotely close to being correct. So if we can wait just a little bit longer, one more month, in fact, we might do that. It might mean that the chickens starve for like a part of, it, part of a day, but if we can give them food right back again, I think we'll be back in a good place and maybe that will be a better overall price for us. Um, but we do got to figure out the water situation, unfortunately. So I think we're going to have to do that right now, which does mean we don't have any money because we have no money. You know, what's the worst that happens if we don't water these things? Nothing. They, they just stop producing for a part of a day and then we give them water and they start producing again. So I think we just skip ahead one more month and just hope that that is going to be okay. Uh, speaking of months and things like that, obviously we're going to skip grapes. Right now we would be harvesting grapes, but I think the chickens was the better move. But we definitely want to try and get back on the grapes this next year, if at all possible, now that we have the full chicken set up. So first things first, let's go ahead and go forward one more month and uh, hope that our chickens aren't too starved, our produce isn't too dead, and then we can sell a bunch of stuff off and be in a much better position than if we had sold last month. All right, so the chickens are out of food, as expected. Um, and then all of these are actually not quite out of water. So produce is actually gonna be okay for just a little bit longer. That's good to see. But here's the big tale, big story. 1364 is a good price. Oh, that's actually not bad. We can make that work. This is only $100 off, and that is actually not a bad thing at all. So, um, when's the next time to harvest, like, good crops? Corn, sunflower, soybeans, none of those would qualify. 
Sorghum we just missed. I didn't. Oh, I should have checked. I don't. I didn't see any. I th I should have checked. That was a dumb thing for me actually. And sunflowers. I wish some, wish sunflowers counted, but they do not. Okay. So for some reason I thought we were already past all of the harvestable crops. I did not even think to check for sorghum last month. But what we will do is we'll go ahead and pick up these chicken eggs that are here because we're actually at a halfway decent price. Why are you not loading? We'll have to unhook and rehook you up again. No. Where's the... Why is it not giving me the auto load menu option? I like to change the... It's supposed to give me the option to change the different things, right? Yeah, I don't see it. What is going on here? Um, we've had this issue happen before. I think I did. I have end up having a reload or something. I mean, I've been using this auto loader in my other maps, so I know it still works. Um, I'm not sure why it's not working today. I don't have a reason. The fact that it's telling me to auto load two right now is a bit strange and problematic. All right, I might have to reload to save to get this to work. All right, let's, let's come over here. I'm actually gonna unhook it before I reload to save, but I'll be right back and we'll see if we can get this working. All right, that's all I need to do. So unload or uh, reload the game. So we did get these loaded up and we are good to take these to market. Now, which place are we gonna take these to? It actually might depend on whether or not we want to wait to see if these guys max out on price. Which does mean our chicken's going to starve for a little bit longer, but if we can get, you know, a little bit more money while it's going up, we might as well. I mean, I don't don't think a couple hours of starving chickens is going to really hurt anything. I mean, granted, it's not a ton of money, but every little bit's going to help us at this point in the game. Guess we can start heading up that direction. We might actually hit the 1300 price, might, won't we? Wow, we are going to be very close. Thirteen thirty. Wow, this is not bad. We'll take it. Thirteen twenty-six. I mean, the problem is going to be if the bakery doesn't stop until after the farm shop stops, which may mean we have to like gamble a little bit on which one's going to be a good price. Thirteen forty. What? This actually might be the best price we've seen in a very long time. Now chickens are obviously continuing to starve, but. We're getting, we've already got up a hundred bucks, at least 150, something like that, right? I don't want to get too busy and miss it. All right, there's 1390. What are the chances that the bakery goes up higher than 1390? <laughs> 1392. I honestly don't know. I mean, we might as well start driving up this way a little bit, but I guess I will keep fast forwarding. I mean, this day's gonna go by pretty fast, but we are at least going to get a good price for our eggs. Thirteen ninety-six. Actually, that one's still going up. Fourteen hundred. But the bakery's at thirteen thirty-four and also going up. Alrighty then. Sorry, chickens. I promise you will get fed here shortly. Oh, it's starting to go down. It's getting dark and rainy. It's still technically going up, even though it says it's going down. Honestly, I think the price difference is not enough to justify going to the farmer's market. So I think we're just going to go to the bakery. It's about a $40 difference. It's not that much. Bakery is literally right here. And still going up. $33 difference. All right, that's coming back down. All right, so all said and done. About a $33 difference. And I think that's worth just going to the bakery right here. It's a lot closer. Get it done. Go get our chicken some food. And move on to another day. I 
Oh, yeah, that's the best price we've seen in a year. Oh, really? Are you having trouble selling? Okay. I'm not sure if I know what's going on here. I mean, I could try and unload, but... Um, I forget which side it unloads on. Of course, it unloads that side. But now I can probably push them across with the tractor which is a little silly but i'm not sure why it's not working I've, <laughs> how many times have we unloaded eggs over here quite a few i feel like now we're gonna crack a few eggs i don't know why your eggs are all crunched up and rolled over because <laughs> your guy outside wouldn't accept them in the normal spot how are those not dropping off Really, game? Really, game? Why are you being difficult to me? All right. Well, I, I guess we're going to do this the hard way after all. We're going to take these up to the other place. Uh, I'm not going to make you guys watch that. So I will be right back when we get there. All right. We're at the farmer's market. Let's see if we can actually sell the eggs now. Maybe. Hopefully. Question mark. All right, he's buying some. Okay, finally. <laughs> oh, that was so weird. All right, there we go. $9,000 this time and then a few thousand dollars earlier. So still not doing great financially, but we still got a lot of potential money. Uh, we got a lot of tomatoes, a lot of lettuce. Obviously, we're going to be making a lot more eggs as time goes by. So um, I'll be right back. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to make you guys watch me drive back in the dark. I'll be right back when we go pick up our chicken feed and then we'll call it a day. All right, we're back. We got some food for the chickens. Hopefully, uh, this will last us a little bit of while because it did use up pretty much all of our money, which is not great. But what you gonna do? Drop all this stuff off. This should last them, I think, what three months, maybe. Uh, we still gotta get water for the produce. I may just have to let the produce sit for a bit until I can. Uh, well, I mean, we can get a little bit of water right now. Because we can, we can pay for the water. I, I just can't... This tractor's not strong enough to pull it out of the, the river itself. So we do have to uh, pay for the water, unfortunately. But we can get a little bit to get some, some more produce rolling for us. Oh, we got some already in here. I forgot we had some. That is actually a huge help. Because if we put about half of it in each of these two over here now, and then the other half... We can fill up another full tanker and put half and half in the other two. That'll last a little while. At least hopefully long enough until we can sell some more stuff. Uh, next month is actually the best time to sell eggs if we even get some back. I mean, our chickens are... <laughs> Pretty hungry. We got to get back up to 100% health, which I'm not sure how exactly how long that will take. Hopefully, it won't take more than a. It may take a few hours. It may take a full day. I actually don't remember. Um, but we'll, we shall see. I mean, we still have a lot of money sitting here, not doing anything. To be fair, it's just I want to have more money by selling things at the right price. So we'll see. Hopefully, I mean, again, the price for um, uh, lettuce and tomatoes. I mean, it's it's not terrible. It's getting up there. So I think next month will be the best time for the lettuce and tomatoes. Well, not the best time, but a good time for the lettuce and tomatoes if we can help it. So hopefully we can get there. We shall see. Man, not getting those contracts over the summer really, really hard is big time.
All right, well, we're going to have some more pl uh, plants growing, some more produce growing. Um, so when it does get to a good price, we should have even more to sell. Put the rest of this in here and fast forward. Finally, get out of this rain. Dude, it's almost a new day already. Time's been flying today. But let's go. Let's get to a new day now. Definitely tired of looking at the rain in the dark. <laughs> Definitely messes with my head. All right, no rain. Yay. How are we looking on things? Do we have... Lettuce is, you know, still low on water, to be fair. Tomatoes are getting high on storage, so we definitely need to move them off as soon as we can. Uh, the chickens, are you guys back healthy again? You guys are back healthy again. And we've already got a few eggs over there, so that's good. Speaking of uh, prices, though, um, farm shop for lettuce is not bad. Farm shop for tomatoes is not bad. So if we have to sell something, we can definitely make, make that work. The real big thing is just... I really just need to be able to survive. Actually, the egg price is still at a really good price, fourteen ninety one. Um, I just need to be able to get to a another year where hopefully we get a contract this time around. And the next time we can see contracts, though, is not until at least for chickens, is not until June. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven months. We got more than half the year to go. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen uh, unless we can get a whole lot of money for all of our produce here. Not really enough eggs sitting there to really mess with. Uh, I mean, if we're making a trip trip up there we anyway, we will go ahead and do that. And maybe we do need to go ahead and make a trip. Best time to sell the tomatoes is when? In theory. December? So one more month? Does that match the spreadsheet? It actually says February, January, so... I mean, we can watch the lettuce price go up for a bit here. I'll just bump up the speed. We can sit here and just watch for a minute. See if the lettuce price will get to a good price. If it gets, I don't know, above. I mean, if it definitely gets close to, oh, never mind. It's, it's already done. I think what we do then is, I mean, we've got enough for one more month for everything, right? Uh, one thing we do need to do is we need to empty out the tomatoes. So I think we fill up the tomatoes, get those emptied out, and then we one more month to see if we can get some good prices for our produce. Really? You're not going to auto- oh, because I have the wrong thing set selected. Come on, new ground. We'll get one, one, one row from each, and that should be good. All right. Sometime today. There we go. All right, so there we go. We got a full load of tomatoes ready to go. That does empty up our tomato stuff here quite a bit. Actually, we're going to be good for quite a while. All right, well, let's fast forward one more month and see if we get some good prices for things. Pretty much have to sell this next month, though. We're, we're really getting too low on everything. It's still very unfortunate that we have to spend so much money on the, the chicken food. That is definitely backfiring on me quite a bit, actually. But not much we can do about it, right? Nice little auto load trailer there. We've used that one before. Um, let's see here. Everything's looking good here. Actually, water's hanging in there. Food. I mean, they got at least one more month, it looks like. Got some, some eggs now. Uh, lettuce is actually at a lower price, but it is going back up again. And tomatoes are also at a lower price, but also theoretically going back up again so hopefully those continue to go up eggs actually not a terrible price if we do take a trip we might go ahead and just sell whatever eggs we have just to try and maximize maximize as much money as we can right now so let's just watch the probably the well the tomatoes because we already got them loaded up but pretty much both of these a lot of fast forwarding this episode just trying to get to good prices for things 
Hopefully once we get over this hump, we'll be in a good spot where we can be a little bit more, I don't know, just sell things when, when, when it's a good price and not even stress it otherwise, you know, just don't even have to think about it. Yeah, I'm not sure that the lettuce is going to get to a price that we care about. The tomatoes look like they're going to get to a decent price, though. In fact, I think we're going to start driving up there because no matter what happens, I think we're going to be selling these tomatoes at whatever price ends up being because it's going to be good enough. I wish this sell point for tomatoes was closer. Now, I forget. Can you... Uh, let me pause for a second. Can you add a sell point to the game? Is that a thing? Uh, construction? Selling points. So yeah, we could, we could add new sell point. I hadn't thought about that. Like a pizzeria would actually use lettuce, tomatoes, all the food that we have and the eggs. That would be kind of interesting thing to just have another one that just another option that could max out and be closer. I mean, we don't have the money for it right now. We have to have the money to have the sell point, but that actually would be kind of an interesting thought. I hadn't thought about that before. I forgot that they added, they have those cell points in the games to be perfectly honest. Anyway, so how are we looking? All right, let's keep fast forwarding again. I mean, the lettuce is going up very slowly. At the very least, we could sell the tomatoes this month because this is going to be a really good price for the tomatoes. And we got a lot of tomatoes to sell. 534, that's going to be a new maximum price, I think, for us. It's unfortunate that it takes... The, there we go. Yeah, okay. Let's come back down. All right, let's get these sold off up here. I'm going to go ahead and slow down to 0.5 speed just to make sure we can get these sold off. Because... What is this about? Five thousand dollars. Get us out of the hole, but then we can go sell another load at least. Maybe two more loads. It's, I can't remember exactly how much we have left over there. I don't, probably about another load and a, a bit of a bit of a load. Hopefully, definitely enough to get out of the hole, and then we can buy more water, buy more eggs, or buy more ch chicken feed. Let's try and survive a little bit longer again. Now, the problem with all that, though, is that we basically have no income again for another year. Like, no good income for another year. Because we're selling all our stuff right now, but we're barely getting ourselves out of the hole. Man, I don't know. This save. This save might be just a bit too hard for us, guys. I thought we'd be in a better spot overall with the extra chicken eggs as well as the not spending money on the harvester for the grapes since that's basically break even. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like here in a minute. Again, we'd be fine if we could have got a contract over the summer. We would have had plenty of water for free. We would have had extra money from the contract. And we would have had grain basically you know for free because you know we still had to done the work but for all intents and purposes it would have been free now it might not have been enough grain to last us another year but at least between that and the money and that free water we've been in a better spot we'll get there though definitely making more investments in our in our overall you know, production capabilities. Obviously, what was it, about a year or so ago, we d doubled up the uh, greenhouses. This last year, we've increased the chickens by a lot. Uh, we had, what, 90 chickens, and now we have 360, so 4 x of the chickens. It's a lot of chickens. So we're definitely making positive gains, just not quite as quickly as I would have liked. And I should have thought about the uh, harvesting the grains sooner, and that would have saved us a lot of money over time as well. 
Come on, you can do it. This load is barely going to get us out of the hole, but it's a start. There we go. 53.82. Not bad. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. I mean, selling lots of stuff, trying to trying to survive, really, at this point. Um, but we're going to uh, definitely bring some more tomatoes up here and go from there. But that will happen next episode. I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.